hello guys this is Asif and in this YouTube video tutorial we are going to see how we can use Armin that is recovery manager to perform database backups and recoveries so this will be a series of uh, videos which will cover all the aspects of Armin we will see how we can perform full backups incremental backups encrypted backups compressed backups uh, hot backups and cold backups with Armin Armin is uh, basically uh, a tool which is uh, recommended by Oracle it is a tool offered by Oracle it is a tool which is recommended by Oracle to perform all kind of backups and recovery of Oracle databases so in this scenario what we are going to do we have created we are going to first explain how Armin works and how it can uh, perform database backups and how it can perform database recoveries so let's get started and see how it is going to work so in this tutorial we are going to see how Armin works basically uh, we have got two databases one database name is db1 second database name is db2 then we have got some media disk media as well as tape media we are going to perform backups of this database db1 we are going to keep the backups of this database into this this media and we are going to keep information about the backups of this database into this database I will repeat it again we are going to perform the backups of DB1 we are going to keep the backups actual backup files into this media and we are going to keep the information about the backups of this database into this database so in this scenario we have got two databases first one is db1 the second one is db2 db1 is the database back is the database whose backup is going to be performed db2 is the database who is going to held information about the backups of this database into itself and let me make it further clear this db1 db2 and storage media might exist on a single machine so that means this db1 db2 and backup media will exist on one machine or it is also possible that this db1 exist on a separate machine this db2 exist on a separate machine and these backup media might exist on a separate machine so it is possible that all these components exist on separate machines or all these components might exist on a single machine in both cases Armin will work successfully that means depending upon the requirement of the organization 
depending on the size and performance requirement of the database, the organization will decide whether they want to keep this whole architecture on a single machine, on two machines or on three machines. So it is completely dependent on the kind of data which you have. It, it is completely dependent on the uh, availability requirement of the database. It is completely dependent upon the resources which organization can afford. Okay, let me uh, make it further clear by this diagram. Here what I am going to explain is that this is a DB1, this is DB1 whose backup is going to be performed. This is the data uh, DB whose deck, uh, backup is going to be performed. This is the database who is going to hold information about the backups of this database. It is also possible that this database DB2 held the information about the backups of this database. This is also possible that this database hold the information about the backups of this database and this database hold the information about the backups of this database. That means this database is a repository which can hold which can hold information about the backups of multiple databases. So DB2 can hold the information about the backups of multiple databases. In our case, in our scenario, DB2 can hold information about the backups of DB1, DB2, DB3, DB4 and DB5. So it is very very useful tool, uh, very uh, uh, well organized way to uh, to hold all the information about the backups into a single database. So suppose if organization have 100 databases, the backups backup information about all the databases is going to be held into a single database. Now, it is also possible that we do not implement this database at all. So, in case if we do not, if we decide not to use this database, then our main is going to held to hold the information about the backups of database inside the control file of this database. That means if we are not using this database then our main is going to hold the information about the backups of this database inside the control file of this database. That means if we do not use this database, our main is going to hold the information about the backups inside the control file of this database and date mechanism is called no catalog mode. Date mechanism is called no catalog mode and if we use this database, if we prefer to use this database then this mechanism is called catalog mode. 
so i will repeat it again if armen is holding information about this database backups inside the control file of this database date mechanism is called no catalog mode and if r may if we decide that r main should hold the information about the backups into the this database date mechanism will be called catalog mode now explaining it further it is also possible that we can merge this database into this database it is also possible we can merge this database into this database date means the information about the backups of this database can be hold can be held inside this database along with the control file of this database that means the information about the backups of this database can be held inside of this database along with the control file of this database that means we can merge this database we can create this database inside this database to make our life more simple so i will end my uh, section uh, session here and i will continue from the next session and i will explain how we can start how we can implement the simplest architecture of armen what we are going to do we are going to create one database we are going to create another another database we are going to inform our main date this database backups information is going to be held into this database that means this database is going to register itself through our main into this database that means all the backups which are going to be performed of this database are uh, are going to be held on the disk but the information about these backups is going to be held into this database so this is the architecture and this is the uh, over, uh, overall overview of what we are going to do in our upcoming sessions and how we are going to design the armen how we are going to implement the backup and recovery strategy in the most one of the uh, one of the most simplest way we can make it very complicated we can uh, make it uh, make it uh, multi tier we can uh, um, implement many things we, we can implement uh, incremental cumulative full backups online backups offline backups cold backups hot backup depending upon our own requirement but for the testing purpose we are going to use this uh, this whole mechanism thank you very much for watching this video and we are going to continue from our next session thank you